I am Mo from Nexi Concept Limited and the topic we are about to discuss on today is Master's Degree in London. A postgraduate or Master's course in London follows the successful course completion of an undergraduate degree as you all know, generally lasting for one year compared to two years Master's program found elsewhere in the world. With this, international students can save time, money, and begin their career much quicker with a highly regarded university in London. So say you are done with your undergraduate degree here um, in Nigeria, you can actually decide that, you know what, I actually want to progress forward and I want to have my master's degree in London. It's actually an amazing opportunity for you to do that. It's an amazing opportunity and it also helps with your career growth if you decide to study in London. You know, London is home to some of the leading universities in the world and it is actually, these universities are renowned for their quality of teaching and research. The universities in London, they actually hold very high esteem, you know, of themselves by providing postgraduate degrees that are well recognized by employers. And for international students studying in London, it's a fantastic opportunity to improve your English and immerse yourself in a multicultural and exciting community of academics and students. By studying in London, you will be able to improve your career prospects gain an internationally recognized qualification and more over the course of your career because of the weight London masters carry. You will also be able to shape study around your schedule. This, a study carried out by Higher Education Statistics Agency shows that 86% of students who completed a postgraduate masters in London were in full-time employment following a graduation, compared to just 75% of undergraduate leaders. You know, there are two types of master's degree. We have the taught master's and we have the research master's. Now, for the taught master's, there are four main types of taught master's. We have the Master of Arts, MA, Master of Science, MSc, Master of Business Administration, MBA, and Master of Engineering, MNG, which last one to two years full time. We also have the research masters. A research degree will see students take more responsibility for their work and schedule, basing their study around a thesis, which being su supervised by an academic, the most popular research degree is a PhD, which lasts and takes about up to three to five years to complete. And it comprises a, a thesis between, um, and tuition fee between 60,000 to 100,000 words in, in respect to the um, thesis that you need. Other types of research degree that you need is Master of Science, Master of Philosophy, Master of Science is MSc, Master of Philosophy is MPhil, Master of Research, MRES. This degree is actually similar to a PhD, but not as academically demanding with papers being much shorter. So for the prices of masters in London, they actually range from between 10,000 to as high as 38,000, 40,000 upwards pounds you know, depending on the particular course that you actually want to go for. Postgraduate schools in London are far less expensive than graduate schools in USA. Do you know that? And studying in London can be 30 to 60 percent cheaper than studying in America. Well, I'm just saying. So, okay, um, some of the cheapest universities in London for international students um, who wishes to get a degree that is well recognized around the globe 
with an international qualification, you can actually broaden your prospects and enhance your capacity. Um, this university, they offer low cost um, tuition to international students. And I hope this will be able to help you with your decision making with regards to studying in London. So we have the University of Law, we have um, universities such as London Metropolitan University, we have GMS London, we have the University of West London, we have Coventry. Coventry also have campuses in London, so does Bedfordshire. They have campuses in London. Newcastle also has a campus in London. So the good thing is that some of these universities, they have campuses in the hearts of London. University of Greenwich is also in London, so you have an immense opportunity to study in the hearts of London. You have an immense opportunity to study in a place where you can meet with a whole lot of people, which um, actually introduces diversity and inclusion. You can actually meet with a whole lot of actors and actresses from your favorite movies, you know, by studying there. So you can get to see a whole lot of diverse cultural entertainment there. And you will get a whole lot more by studying in London. So I think that it's an amazing opportunity. So say you want to go to like Coventry and you want Coventry in the heart of London, you could always get it. So some of these schools, they have their campuses in London. So I think that it's an amazing opportunity for anyone to actually look into with respect to studying abroad. And you know, like I said, for their prices, it ranges from like 10,000 pounds upward, you know. The amazing part is that these universities, they prepare students for professional careers and with its indigenous models. These universities, they actually bridge the gap between education and professional practice. So if you want to pursue a professional career in law, business, finance, accountancy, nursing, psychology, then it's these universities that you should consider, to be honest. For instance, Coventry University, their campus in London um, was actually awarded University of the Year. The university guarantees an internship to all its students and prepares all its students for a global working environment. The university regularly hold, holds against um, lectures which are delivered by senior industry leaders. The University of London campus has adopted a flexible and dynamic approach towards models. We also have also University of London campus. So most of universities they actually have their campuses in London so if you really do want to study in London and you want to have a progression in your career in London then we could always look it up for you and see which of the universities in London um, are available and then you could always apply and so about the accommodation um, we have different accommodations that are provided. You have private accommodations that are provided, and you have um, you are actually most likely to find ways to actually actually um, provide. If you if you in case you have a tightly scarce budget now, for instance, um, prospective students that have tightly scarce um, budgets, you know, it's always advisable that um, you save for accommodation funds. You know. A lot of students would want to do that. So you could always try a private rented hall because generally students assume that university student hall is the most cost effective as accommodation as compared to private rented accommodations or hall. However, it is actually the other way around. Private rented accommodations or hall, they are usually considered cheaper because they are located in the central location between the university and the town. It reduces your transportation costs, you know, if you think about it. And you'll get several facilities offered, you know, such as um, they have their game room, they have, um, you have various facilities that will be offered like a game room um, and accommodations that have um, a whole lot of other facilities. And you could also try halls where um, you don't necessarily have to cook. You know, that also reduces your costs. 
So what you do in this in um, in this regard is you eat with your flatmates, which will actually save you your cost as well. You know, so your hall of residence, you can actually get one where you can actually fend for yourself, where you and your flatmates can actually say, you know what, we can we actually want to start cooking together. If you do that, that would help to reduce your your budget uh, with respect to accommodation, and it will actually prevent you from re eating out, which will actually cost more. You could also consider shared accommodation where you have a roommate that you share your accommodation with, you split the money and you guys cook together. This can actually help to save costs as well because I know that a lot of students want very affordable accommodation, affordable tuition fee. So I'm just trying to see how I can break all this down. So definitely in general, study in London, I know that the cost might seem high and the study intense. There are many, many benefits for studying in London for your master's degree. The courses that are provided, they demonstrate knowledge of a subject, help, help facilitate career changes, and even increase your potentials. Studying for master's degree in London is an exciting prospect, and there are many valid reasons to consider taking a prospective course in London. And some of the reasons, like I earlier stated, is you progressing from your current career path, improving your employment prospects, developing a personal interest, you know, progressing to a higher level qualification such as a PhD, entering a particular profession, meeting the requirements of your current job. You know, a master's degree can also aid your career change. It can help you to gain more in, in um, chartership and provide in useful industry contacts and connections. And however, master studies in, is intense and it actually comes with a very, very heavy price tag. You will definitely need relevant work experience, you know, for entry into the entry programs. And in order for you to make most of um, your postgraduate studies, it's always vital that you commit to a particular course. So this means that you would definitely really, really need to want it for you to be able to get it. You have to want to do the masters and you have to have a passion for whatever it is that you want to go for because it can be really, really life changing, you know. So um, some of the frequently asked questions about having your masters done in the UK and some of the questions are, um, some students would always come up and say, you know what, would a masters help me to get a job? Um, the truth is, master's degree in the UK, they are highly regarded by employers. They are also popular among international students, indicating the UK globally recognized strength in this area. Do you know that holding a master's degree qualification, it won't necessarily guarantee you a job, but with the government's um, gradual, um, graduate um, labor statistics, it actually shows that um, those that are graduated, they have a higher employable rate than those that are not graduates. Um, so this would also give you a crucial competitive edge in the job market because employers are increasingly looking for ways to, di to distinguish potential candidates. And this higher level qualification, they show that you have um, the tenacity to commit to an intense period of work. Um, and and master's, master's program could also be useful if you are looking for a career change. And if you are already working in your preferred in course industry, a postgraduate degree could actually lead to a rapid career progression. It could emphasize your drive, your determination, and your willingness to increase your ability in a chosen area. What's, well, what's more, your employers may actually decide to support you financially through scholarship. Isn't that a good idea? The truth is, you would only benefit fully from a master's degree if it's complemented by relevant work experience. Without this, your employability will be weakened and you will run the risk of getting into unnecessary debts. Some students will also ask that, is a master's degree worth the cost? The truth is, obtaining a master's degree can be expensive, time-consuming, and emotionally draining, I tell you. Therefore, you need to weigh up the reasons why you're actually studying the course carefully. And to be honest, 
Undergraduate degree courses are much more expensive than master's degree, although it actually varies depending on the fees. And in majority, it's, um, international students actually pay more, you know. And an exception to this rule is an MBA, which is one of the most expensive qualifications out there. And on a positive note, postgraduate students, they actually do earn more um, in terms of work after school. Despite this, you must think about why you actually want to pos um, pursue a master's degree in London before you actually decide to commit to it. Now, to be certain that master's studies that you want to go for will meet your expectations and be worth the high cost, you should be passionate about your subject. You should browse relevant job achievements to identify what employers value most. As industry certifications and accreditations are important for certain roles, you should also consider everything in the context of your overall career plan, ensuring that the qualification offers the best way of achieving your career goals. You should consider whether the master's study would actually boost your credentials significantly above your existing undergraduate education. The contacts in respect to um, career services, you should definitely try and contact them um, if you have anything in respect to um, advice and we can actually help you to do that. You know, you seek counsel, you need to contact all those that you think that would actually help you and advise you. We could actually help you to do that so that you can have this at the back of your mind when you are deciding to go for your master's degree. And the truth is that you should have, um, if you cannot convince yourself that going for a master's degree in London is the right move, then you should not even bother. And if you are not looking to immediately after um, completing your, master, um, your undergraduate degree, you may want to consider. My point is this, don't rush. Don't decide on time that, okay, you know what, I have to con um, continue with my master's degree because everybody is doing it, you know. Don't do that. You should actually have a valid reasons why you want to go for your master's degree. You know, some students will also ask that, can I do a master's with a tutu or a third class? The truth is this, you can, you know. You know, it's all, it actually has a much more higher advantage if you finish with a 2-1. Some, some university will actually take you with a third class. You get, if you give us a contact, if you finish with a third class, you could always send us a DM and we'll definitely... Um, help you and put you through because there are some universities that will take you with your third class and there are some requirements that need to be made you know and um knowing fully well that two two also can also be accepted you know so it's it's actually an amazing opportunity for you to study in london but if you can actually back up your certifications with professional experiences it even gives you a higher opportunity you know and if you have work experiences like say um, in that particular field that you want to go for, it also gives you a higher chance, you know. And for your third class, say you finish with like a 2.0 and above, um, you will be considered for your third class. And the truth is, we could always help you with this. But the truth is, most third class would limit you to mostly managerial courses. And um, so you might actually want to go for a pre-master's if you don't have that particular course that you want. But if you don't mind going for a managerial course, we can help you to get a direct master's with the third class. Do you understand? And some schools like Coventry would also take you in for your, with your third class. But we need to know the, your, your qualifications and we need to have your documentations to go through your... your um, documentation for us to be able to make have a, a precise decision on what it is that you would go for. So if you don't have C6 in English in your YA or NECO, you need to um, get your IELTS and other relevant English courses. And um, say um, some students will also ask they would have time to do their masters and work. Of course, you will definitely have time to do that. As a matter of fact, some will ask, would they, can they do a PhD without a masters? But the truth is to be accepted into a PhD, which is the highest qualification that a student can achieve, students usually need a relevant master's degree. It's actually very, very important that you get that before you can go for your PhD. And it's also advisable that when you want to go for your PhD, you apply to the school directly. And, you know, because of all the process that is involved, um, getting your thesis and all of that, 
We help you with your visa, um, visa processing. But we would advise that you apply to the school directly so that you can get um, your lecturer and um, get um, get everything in, in, in line before you actually move forward. But the major important question is this. Am I actually ready to do a master's in London? Am I ready to do it? Am I prepared to actually take this on? Would I, am I prepared to do more studying and less partying? So you're excited about the opportunity to write an exam and know that you want to do a, write another project and can you afford to study for your, your master's? Have you thought about your living expense? How much is actually going to be costing you? And are you actually willing to do more in respect to studying in London? Will you also be willing to live onto your budget and expenses? You know, you need to put all these things into consideration. And you should also think about whether or not the postgraduate um, qualification would increase your career prospects. And think about the course you also want to go for, even if it is highly rated um, by employers within your industry. And the qualification will really equip you in the, um, in the skills that is needed for your ideal career. You really need to think about all this before you decide that, you know what, I actually want to take up my master's degree in London. That um, you should think about the fact that would your studies allow you to qualify as a professional? And also think about the fact that are you genuinely passionate about the course that you intend to go for? And are you certain that the course that you're looking for is actually right for you? So these are some of the questions that you should consider when you decide that you want to go for your master's degree in London. Do you understand what I mean? So what you, you, we actually really, really need to put all this into consideration. We actually need to be sure that this is exactly what you actually want to do because it's all, all um, actually very, very important that you do that. Studying in London is an amazing, and, um, an amazing opportunity. As a matter of fact, you can go through our um, Instagram page and you will see that there are so many testimonials with different, schools, um, different students that have actually traveled to study um, abroad. So if you really, really do want to study in London, we could definitely help you, like I said, to get that particular university that you want to go to, that has a campus right there at the um, center of London. We could always help you to do that. And you know, like I told you about Coventry as well, that Coventry has a campus in London. We could always get you um, to the particular location that you want your studies to be. So, but the most important thing is that you're actually willing to do this. I am willing to take up all the sacrifice that is needed, you know, and would always advise that, you know what, send us a DM, let us know, and um, send us a DM, let us know exactly where you are at, let us know exactly what you want, and we would be able to guide you, counsel you, you know, and um, push you forward in the right path. Um, January intake is just around the corner and a lot of students are already putting in application from now. So what are you waiting for exactly? We would always advise that, you know what, have all your documents intact. Send us a DM. Let us know that you are interested in having your master's done in London, in the center of London or anywhere in the UK as a matter of fact. We will definitely always put you through you know, and um, guide you along the right path. We'll tell you about all the expenses that you'll be needing because I know that a lot of students would always want, um, say, low tuition, low accommodation. You know, they actually want everything um, in a minimum cost so that they can actually save enough for them when they go there. But um, everything is all encompassing with respect to what we are actually going to be sharing with you when you come to us and you start your application process on time you know so we always advise that you do that so i'm actually i'm still seeing people joining in hi i said earlier that i wasn't going to talk about the questions until after i was done um, with the um, presentation i want to see what the questions that we have to see if i can actually answer some questions so just give me a minute let me just see oh, okay I see you all joining in and I'm so excited for you all to be here. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you've actually enjoyed the little um, uh, presentation that I just did, giving you and uh, telling you more about um, having your master's done in London. Um, so someone says um, that I would like to know more about master's in nursing, January 2022. Um, like I said, that if you actually do want to know more, just send us a a, like like you send us a DM in our message section and we'll definitely contact you definitely we'll contact you and let you know more about it um, so we'll definitely tell you more about um, nursing um, 
via WhatsApp. I would like you to, to chat, send us a DM and they will definitely contact you via WhatsApp and then send, give you all the information that you need and also know about your documentations and where you are at. But definitely you can get nothing. Um, you can definitely get nothing at the school of your choice as a matter of fact. But we need to know exactly where you are at and um, you know there are different types of nursing. So we need to know exactly where you are at and to know exactly how to counsel you in the right direction for your course. So we have courses for January intake already ongoing. So we need you to kindly, um, we need you to kindly just send us a DM as soon as possible. Let me see if I can actually add someone, just one person to join in. You know, let me see if I can do that before I run because I know that my time is already a little bit fast spent. So that's just basically what I want um, to share with you today with respect to studying, um, taking your master's degree in London, which is an amazing opportunity, you know. So let me see if I can um, if I can invite or just chat with one or two people. Hi, I'm waving back at you. Do you have any questions to ask me? You can drop it in the comment section and I'll definitely answer your question. And I don't know what exactly, oh, I see someone joining. Hi. Hi. It's so good to have you here. Hi. <laughs> oh, what's your name? And why are you calling? Where are you actually chatting with me from right now? My name is Mirabel. Hi. I'm chatting from Riga State, Duguma. Okay. Uh, so I was actually the one that you? asked that question. So I'll send a DM as soon as this program okay, yes, is please over. Do. Yes, send a DM to us. Um, yeah, send us a DM and then we'll definitely give you all it takes because we'll definitely want to share some things with you and then we'll definitely want you to share some things with us. Like your documents, um, we want to know about your history, what you've done and all of that. Well, it's so good to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> so we definitely want to do that. So, do you have any other questions yeah. to ask? Not, not now. When I send you a DM, I'll ask all the questions. All I need oh, to know. Yes, please do, and then thank definitely you. we'll take you on and, and do that. All oh, right. Thank you. It's so good to thank see you. you. <laughs> thank you, you so too. much for joining. Thank you. Me. Welcome. All right. <laughs> all right. Bye. All right. <laughs> okay. So let me see. Let me see if I have um other questions. Let me see if I have um. Sorry, let me see if I have other people that would want to. Um, sorry, sorry about that. Let me see if I have others. Okay, I want to see if I have other questions coming in. Okay, so you can actually end. You can end that. Yeah, maybe we can end that. While I see if I have other questions. Okay. So someone is just asking that, um, can one going for a BSc program in UK travel with her? Of course. Why not? You can definitely travel with your dependents. You know, if you want to um, say you're going um, to the UK with your dependents, you can definitely do. But I would have to um, go through your documents. Like, as well, I, um, like I told uh, Miriam just now, that she sent us um, a DM. Um, and we'll definitely chat with you and we'll put you through how you can go about this in respect to having your dependents join you. So you can definitely do that and it'll be an amazing opportunity. Do you understand? And with you as a primary um, applicant, we can definitely do that. All right. So it's been really, really nice to have you all here. It's been really, really nice. And it's been nice to actually chat with someone today. You know, I really, I really liked that. I really, really like that. So, but um, now it's time for me to go. I know that it's actually pretty short, but it's just time for me to go because I would like you to send us a DM and let's start your January applications, you know, because the truth is that you might think that January is far away, but the truth is January is right around the corner, you know, so um, we would like you to do that. You know, I see all that requests coming in, but I have to go now. So thank you so, so much for being here today. I hope you really enjoyed that. And I would really like to hear from you. Send, send us your um, a DM so that we can have all your documents and then we'll process your applications for you and tell you about the process and how everything goes, okay? So I hope we'll be able to see you next week. The same time next week. We hope to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. It's been amazing chatting with you. It's been really, really great. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. All right. Take care. Bye.